So this skill and drill is called half kneeling lifts. It's to target the tissues into your hip. It'll get some of your core and also into your shoulders. You're going to need a resistance band that's anchored relatively low. You're going to be in a half kneeling position where one leg is in front. The leg that's in front, the knee, the ankle, and the hip will be bent at 90 degrees. The down leg should be one straight line. So shoulder, hip, knee should be one straight line. You're going to hold the resistance band and you're going to go out until you feel it wanting to pull you back. So what you're going to do when you do this effort is the down leg hip is trying to stabilize as well as the core. You're going to go into this fashion, you're going to bring it towards your chest, and then you're going to press straight up overhead, and then slowly reverse it, trying to decelerate that motion. Right now my torso is not rotating, my head is looking straight ahead while my arms move, and then slowly bringing it back. Another variation to this is you're actually going to look towards your hand. So what I'm doing right now, I'm looking towards my hands, I'm bringing it towards my chest, and then I'm going to press it upward diagonally, away from the anchor point, bringing it back, and bringing it back to starting position. So again, I'm going to look, where my hands are throughout this whole motion. Another variation to this is you can use one arm instead. So as you start, I'm going to start here, bringing it towards my chest, and then I'm going to press it up and out away from me, diagonally from the anchor point. And then I'm going to reverse it, bringing it back and lowering it down. As you're doing this effort, your body's going to want to wobble. That's why you need to make sure that the down back hip is engaged and the core is engaged as well. So again, I'm looking straight ahead, I'm bringing it towards my chest, and then I'm pressing and bringing it outward, and then bringing it back and reversing it. The next variation to this is actually looking where your hand is going. So now I'm going to watch my single arm motion. So I'm going to look at it, bringing it towards my chest and pressing it straight up overhead and then reversing the motion still looking at it 